listening to fantastic rhythm in the beginning of the game. Uh, it was nice to see the guys uh, commit with the proposal and I think uh, we managed to put the game really far from, from our opponent uh, due to the, to the rhythm and the, our capacity to insist. But yeah, there's a risk always when you have to take the initiative every single minute uh, in, in, in a very poor field, uh, and they punish they punish us in in one situation, in one transition in the first half, and after that, the approach uh, from the from our opponent was clear: try to protect the lead. They did a very good job in terms of uh, organization in defense, uh, very generous. Uh, they, they fought uh, every single action, every single duel. Uh, so it was difficult for us to break that. Uh, we have, uh, I think, enough chances at least to, to, get, uh, to get at least one point. Uh, but today was not our day. And uh, we play again on Tuesday. Uh, our mind is already there. Okay, open the floor to questions. Start in front. You must be as a coach, but uh, what positives do you take from this game into Tuesday? I mean, I, I didn't like the last uh, minutes of the game. It was a bit chaotic. We were a bit in a hurry and not doing what we we supposed to do to do in in the moment that uh, Stellenbosch was. Uh, defending really deep. But if I take those 15 minutes, I think everything else was very, very positive. Obviously, there's uh, mistakes, and, but we don't, we don't care so much about that. Uh, uh, I don't know. Many, many things were positive, I think. One more time, uh, trying is, is not easy. Like I said, when you are the one who have to, you know, uh, take the initiative every single minute, it seems that you have the game under control, but it's not. The game is where the opponent wants, and every bad pass is going to be a transition, and we managed to, to defend most of the transitions really well. I don't remember a single, single uh, save uh, from Sipo, from Chaine. I remember a couple of saves from Stephen, so one of those days, uh, but we move. At the back. Coach, how easy is it going to be this season with all the conglomeration of different competitions, Champions League, final to the Camors, it's all packed into the opening month. Um, psychologically, was it very important to get off to a good start, or can you just put this behind you and look to Tuesday? We have to. Uh, I mean, I think the last time we lost one game was against uh, Chiefs in February. After that, uh, we got a fantastic uh, uh, record together. And if I have to lose one game, I would like to do it like we did it today, fighting until the end, creating chances, uh, pushing our opponent to the limit. It's football and, you know, it can happen that you perform like we did today and you go home with zero points. Uh, psychologically, I think we are we are ready, or I want to think that we are ready, and we have uh, 36 players in the squad to to try to mitigate the fact that we have to play eight games in August with uh, long trips and uh, long waits in the airports and all of these things that we're gonna find uh, playing in the continent. Uh, but yeah, we, we had time in pre-season to prepare ourselves for this scenario and if we, it's easy to say that we want to compete in every competition, uh, so we, we, we need to be consequent with what we think and what we say. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be a big problem, trust me, to lose this game today. We, ha we are lucky that we have to play on Tuesday again at home and uh, show, show them, uh, show there that today it was just an accident. Coach, um, a lot of the other teams in the league 
are probably going to set up like this, try and be organized, frustrate you. Is this a once-off thing or will you have something more or extra? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. I hope that everybody is coming to defend in low block against pilots because most of the times we want to beat them. It, it happens, it can happen one more time or two more times. I, I don't want to sound arrogant. I mean, it's difficult. Today they were very committed. It's difficult to, 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 to defend with the level of commitment that Stellenbosch did it tonight, in my opinion. It was excellent. Uh, but, and it's not an excuse, trust me, this is football, we don't play basketball, you know, we don't play in, in, in nice places, sometimes the field is like this and you have to find a way to do it anyway. And the field today, it helps a lot to the team that is defending the lead. We knew that the one who is getting the lead is going to get a big advantage because you just have to protect a bit the space behind yourself and then look for transitions, they have fantastic players. Uh, in transition, Stellenbosch is a good team, and to play here is, is not easy. We knew it, and uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, if we have to deal with low blows, then we have to deal with low blows. Yeah, you see the celebration, you know, beat Pirates is a big thing, play against Pirates is a big thing, so congratulations to the opponent, and, and, and yeah, looking forward to play them soon. Uh, there were a few uh, absentees in the team today, not um, Samet Erasmus, is it because of injuries or? There were 16 absences in the team today. Which one called your attention the most? <laughs> Lodge. Lodge, Lodge Samet only. Samet yeah, uh, they coming, they are coming. I'm, I'm not the one to speak about the health of my players. Like I, I used to say this in Jobor because this question is always coming in the end of the press conference. Uh, but yeah, I'm not the person to speak about the health of my players. Uh, we, we came here with uh, 20 fantastic football players. I think it's better to speak about them and not the ones who couldn't make it to be in the list. Um, good, you had two dummy times today, I think. Patrick and Patrick. What did you make of their cameras? Uh, Patrick, very well, as usually. He was very consistent during, during the whole pre-season. Scor even scoring three goals in pre-season in, in, difficult, in difficult matches. Uh, he's an interesting player. Uh, I'm speaking about the individuals. Sorry, you... Keep going. Um, no, <laughs> um, no, that's all. <laughs> and, uh, if you want to talk about something, I mean, we don't Tell us how the injuries are and give us some bite about what Why? you think about a debut doctor. Why? Because, because you want people would like to people it's not it's not for us, it's I, people would like to, your fans would like to know what's what you think about a debut or where's Lodge? Is he injured? What's happening? When's he coming no, I don't speak about the health of my players. It's not gonna change. I'm not allowed to do it. How can I put it? I'm not allowed to speak about the health of my players. <laughs> it's, it's so simple to understand. It's very difficult to understand. I've got to be honest with you, sir. Completely beyond me how the coach cannot say he was injured this week, we expect him to be back in two weeks' time. It's not, I, I don't understand what the, what the problem is. We'll move on to the next one though, anyway, Mark. It, because it's, it's simple, it's medical information, it's private. You should have a look of the laws. Okay. Uh, you were saying with some other coach? Patrick? <laughs> yeah, happy with both. They are, uh, yeah. Fresh new players uh, in the group. Catalejo is, uh, is also an attractive player to see playing football, and little by little they are coming to the to the to be integrated in what we want to do as a collective. That remains the last round of questions. You've been you've been in the country coach now one full season. I think you you you, you took your team up. Spain, you tested them against different mm. type of players, and, and what having seen them and tested them against different opposition from a completely different space, what do you make of of, of the composition of our league, uh, the quality and the level of the players as well, from what you've seen? I think they they did it very well. I mean, we we played against 
interesting teams, La Liga teams, uh, Maccabi Tel, well, one La Liga team, Las Palmas, Maccabi Tel Aviv, and uh, Independiente del Valle, one of the, the, better, the best teams in South America. And they managed to play in a, in a very good level, uh, even going uh, higher than usually, you know, because it's a different motivation for the guys to prove themselves against such a type of uh, teams in a different environment. Uh, it was very nice to see them playing there, brave, commit, even though, okay, we are in precision, we, we didn't play like, you know, specifically for that game. We were looking for uh, different objectives, but I think it was a very good experience for them to, to be in a different environment, to understand also the difference to, between playing Europe and playing Africa. Um, so yeah, I think everybody was happy with, the, with that experience. And as a coach, I want to think that it's gonna be positive, positive for them as an individual and for the team in the future. Just fine. Do you say anything specific to your team after this? Motivate them, or are they just professionals and business as usual? They are the players. Look, they, they know when when they didn't perform in the in the level that you expect mm. them to perform. They know. You don't need to tell them. We know what we are doing, what we are looking for, and when we are not at the level, they are the first ones to usually, you know, say mea culpa. I don't know if. Understand what I'm saying? Like in Latin, it's like I'm the guilty. Uh, so we are we are critic with ourselves. But today, I, I don't think it's a day to be critic with ourselves. It's a day to 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 make sure that we we have a good comeback on Tuesday. And on that note, we'll conclude this press conference. Coach, thank you very much. For it's your time. a pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.